drink uh, is a solidification defect. And, 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 you know, the only way to fix it is to make, is to freeze the metal uh, or, or to feed it. The metal there quicker uh, or, or you have to uh, chill it faster. Uh, I'll, I'll let Ernie go into detail because this is a, a very common problem, particularly on complicated or complex castings. First thing is it tends to be localized. Uh, second thing, it, it's it's kind of misleading because it's you can machine across the surface with shrinkage porosity and it'll and it'll look well, it'll look good, but it'll actually seep or leak because if you look at that picture on the right, you can see how the interstices are all are all connected, uh, and so that that's the form it takes. So you may have a part that looks very good, if you put it under pressure, you'll actually see it seeping a little bit. The the picture on the left, uh, aluminum solidifies dendritically. You can get little areas trapped between those dendrites as they form. And if you look down towards the bottom where that solid interface is, you can see some areas where the big shrinkage is up towards the stop top of that slide. But down towards the bottom, you can see where there's some very minor areas that have been trapped as those dendrites have formed. You just haven't been quite able to get metal to them. And again, it's, it's those interstices connected. It tends to be local. It's definitely related to, to feeding the part. Uh, and like I say, one of the characteristics is it, it just tends to have a very slow seep or leakage in it. One of the things that differentiates shrinkage porosity is it tends to appear elongated. If you look so closely at that slide, instead of having round porosity, it, it tends to be an elongated porosity, again, because it's trapped in between those interstices on the, like we saw on the dendritic. Uh, and these would just be different x-ray grades of, of when you were grading porosity, elongated porosity. These would just be levels that progress from, from good to worse. Uh, you see the shadowy effect in the grade D slide. That's where, which actually go into something called sponge porosity a little bit, which is just a, it's kind of a step below a, a shrinkage cavity. And it's a little bit worse than the isolated elongated porosity like we see there. It, it, it's a progression uh, as, as that as you start to feed through the risers and stuff, depending on how well you did it. Like you said, it, the, the shrinkage, the elongated shrinkage is, is your first near miss. <laughs> then it goes to the sponge shrinkage, which means you've missed it, but you missed your feeding range by just a little bit more. And then the one where you just cut, don't quite have it yet goes to a shrinkage cavity. Okay. And uh, and so it's a progression of, of shrinkage defects, basically, with the elongated, the, the, the least severe, then into the sponge shrinkage, and then into the uh, shrinkage cavity. And these slides here happen to be shrinkage cavity. And so you've actually failed to get metal into a, to, to that portion of the part, and it's actually isolated a cavity. Common, commonly happens, uh, well, a couple of places. One is the last place to solidify. It'll happen a lot uh, towards the gate. Also, it happens between thick and thin surfaces, thick and thin walls of the casting. If your risers are working the way they should be, um, you shouldn't get too much shrink. Uh, 